When I won the Allet Creative Lounge Striping Competition last fall, the prize was a Liberty 43 uh, battery-powered mower that, and all of the cartridges that came with it. But shortly after that, they announced the, a new mower called the Sterling 51 and also Sterling 43 that was 17 inch. But since I already have a Kensington, uh, which is a 20 inch mower, I decided that I would upgrade to the Sterling 51 instead of taking the Liberty 43. So that's what I did. And this is what I got. It is the Sterling 51 along with a scarifying cartridge and a 10 blade cylinder cartridge and also the fast charger on this pallet. And I just have to say, before I crack into this at all, the box is really awesome. Isn't that a cool box? It's not so much better than the cardboard box that my Kensington came in. Now let's go ahead and dig in. So I did order some bat two batteries to go along with it. Right here says batteries are in the box. And I was told that the reason that they do that is to so that people don't you know, grab the batteries off of the pallet when they're being shipped. So anyways, here we go. We are opening up. Ta -da. Tie straps here. I'm just gonna cut these off. Oh, and I also got these uh, two conversion kits. So the conversion kits are so that I can use my old uh, cartridges with this new mower. So that will be great to be able to not have to repurchase those. So let me just cut this bag off here. So here's one, and essentially what it is is it's a, it's a big metal gear that replaces the, the plastic one that is on the on the current cartridges so I'll have to work out how to make those conversions and I'll show that later and then here is the, this extra these are the the auxiliary wheels um, this is in case your lawn is too long and you don't want the front roller rolling it you take off the front roller and put these on and then you can uh, mow and it won't it, the grass will still be standing up to be cut all right, so here on top are the batteries. And they are the Ego batteries, the 56 volt, but they are the 12 amp hours. And I have no idea where to find these in the States, but I'm sure they're probably available somewhere. Hopefully that will make it so that I can do all of my mowing on one charge and not have to you know go and swap them back and forth okay now I've got this this is the grass catcher so the grass catcher is pretty different from the current one the current one is a solid kind of like a fiberglass plastic um, box but this is a fabric one and so you'll see how that goes together Ten blade reel cartridge. This is the fast charger, so that they will charge quickly. Off. I'll be able to. And here it is. In all its glory. Well, here is the mower. Let me go ahead and take it, lift it off of here. It is still pretty, pretty heavy. So now that I have it out of the box, the main body is all set and I've got to get the handlebars connected. Now the first thing to do when connecting the handlebars is to connect this. So this right here. So these two need to become friends. There we go. So that is connected. And I lift up the handlebars and put them through this opening here. 
And is that going to be okay? I don't think I want... I don't think I want that like that. I think that... So... This little magnet or whatever that is, that signal D clogger or whatever you want to call it, needs to be free and then get this handlebar in there and push that down. Okay, so now this bar here is seated all the way down in this white uh, channel groove here. And I think I want to have this wire out of the way though. Maybe I can tuck it underneath this housing here. I don't want it to get pinched under this plate. So here we go. Yeah, that looks like a good fit. And that is the way it goes. So now, one, two, three, and four. And another Allen wrench. One of these days, I hope to go over to the UK and visit the Allet plant. I think that would be really, really fun. I also have a Vespa. Of course, I wouldn't take it with me, but I would like to rent a Vespa while I'm there and tour the English countryside. Lucky for everyone else, I can edit this video too and take out all of this extra beeswax. All tight. Oh, and by the way, while we're here, this right here is a key that if I take it out, the motor won't work at all. And so that's just kind of a safety thing. I probably won't ever actually take it out, but that's a safety thing so that, you know, someone can't just accidentally turn it on because it being an electric mower will be really easy to turn on and off. And this little wrench is going to be to adjust the, um, the, the comb that's behind the front roller. Also, what came is this operator's manual. So this is the full spiel, not just the quick start guide and also a warranty registration form, which at some point in time, I should probably fill one of these out. But I generally don't. Do they really need it? What benefit does the warranty registration form give? Maybe someone could tell me in the comments of the time when they were really glad they filled out the warranty registration. I just think it puts you on, on their mailing list, but they've already got my number. All right, so now we raise up the handle and I'm just going to put it in that first notch there. Now for the grass catcher. There's instructions in this bag. So they look pretty simple. So let's, let's get this all together here. Okay, so step one is to lay this down and open this up. Step two is to put these crossbars in like so, you know, up from the top and then up from the bottom. So it looks like I set it this way and the bag is just supposed to magically swoop over the top here. So let's see how smoothly this comes on here. <clears throat> I would almost think that I would put it on and then put those crossbars on it and even this one fell off here. So maybe if I was going to do this again, you know, I would have put the folded thing in the bag and then put it in the bag and then unfolded it. But this is this seems to be working too. 
And so now there's this little channel that this inside one goes on. And then a channel that this one goes on. And I think it's fine that there aren't any pins to lock those rods in place because it is just it'll it'll hold on from the tension from the from the bag we've got this that goes on there 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 and there okay now the grass box just slips on to these notches right there right there and right there and this is actually going to be a lot nicer than the kensington because the way the kensington holds on uh sits on the on the box cradle sometimes it's hard to get it at the right angle and then the grass clippings don't all go in so this looks like it's nice and wide open it's there's only one way to put it on which is nice and it'll just uh, let all the grass stay in while the air goes through the fabric <clears throat> which I think will be pretty slick so I am six feet th three inches tall and the Kensington is a little too short for me because, well, it's just too short. And uh, it's not too bad because it, when the, the drive system's on, because I can, you know, just walk with it. But I'm really excited about this because the height adjustment lever, levers come out and I can pull it all the way out and then raise it and that is super high. I mean, I, I, I don't think, I mean, this may even be a little too high, but I don't think, I don't think I would need this any taller. This is going to be really comfortable to mow with. All right, so the last thing that they have on the quick start guide, at least, is this height right adjustment knob, which is what they're calling it, trademark. Um, so basically you just turn this knob and this line here on this on this little stem tells you how high. It has inches on the right and millimeters on the left. I'm going to put it at one inch because my yard is at is a little long. It rained all weekend and I've been working on a backyard res renovation. Uh, and so I haven't mowed for a while. So one inch is probably going to be plenty to take off for this. So, is it ready? Oh, and look at this. The Queen's Award and the Union Jack. Now it is time to put the battery in. Now, like I said, this is a 12 amp hour battery and I just had it on the charger for a few minutes, but it has this nice readout to tell you how much charge is in it. And when I got it, it was only at two. And so I've only had it charging for about maybe 15 minutes and it's at four. So I don't know exactly how accurate that is, but if that really charged up that much, that's pretty impressive. Now here is a walk around of the mower. You got a little new device right there? Yeah, yeah, it's the... Uh, I was wondering when you're gonna pull it out and start it's, green. It's, it's my major reward. It's my major award. Yeah, this is this is my prize for winning last year. <laughs> so, well, good luck with it. thanks, thanks. So, one thing I haven't done is experimented with taking the cartridge out. So, I'm going to do that now. So, apparently, what you do is you release these levers here, and then you pull this up, and then pull it out. Well, that is pretty easy. So, can I put it back just as fast? Now, there we go. Lock that, lock that down, and then latch those down. Yep, I'd say that is pretty, pretty slick. So, another thing that this does is that if you put this all the way forward, 
it makes it so that it won't turn on at all and you can work on it. So if I pull it back, then I can make adjustments to the, to the cut, to the bed knife. Now, whenever I do this, I either use cardstock or a piece of paper folded in half. If you just use a single sheet of paper, like printer paper or something, it's just too thin and it'll, it'll just put too much contact between your, your blade and your bed knife. So that's, it doesn't need to be that close. So let's see how close it is out of the factory. And that is not even cutting at all. So apparently I need to make the first adjustment. So let me go get a screwdriver. To adjust the contact between the blade and the bed knife, there's these two uh, flathead screw bolts here that make these adjustments. And they click, you can feel it click when you uh, turn them. Three, four. One, two, three, four, five. That's all I'm going to do. It was really far away from the bed knife, so I don't think I'm, I'm making it too close. Okay, so over on this side now, this is cutting just, just fine when I see it's cutting that paper just fine. But over on this side now, it is still not. And so I need to tighten this one up a little bit and I'm just going to turn it two notches and I can feel it move when I, when I make those adjustments. There we go. Now it is cutting all the way across. So this dial controls the speed and, all, and then the all the way back position is off. So it's not going to turn on. So if I turn it up here, then it does engage. All right. Then this button here is also a drive button for what you might like. Okay, so to engage the reel, so you push this button and pull up on this. So I'm going to push it with this other hand, and you can't see it, but I have my other hand. And then I'm going to pull it, and then I can... I think I need to adjust that bed knife a little bit, because that is a little loud. It's hitting it quite a bit. That's a little better. Okay, let's get this baby mowing. So one of the interesting things is, is I think I'll be able to still talk while I'm mowing. So you essentially push on this button, pull this handle back, and that turns on the, the reel. And so the reel is spinning. You can probably still hear me just fine. And now I'm going to put this in the on position and go. I did lower my height of cut down to uh, three quarters of an inch instead of one inch because just not much was getting cut off. So, but here we go. Got to speed up a little bit here. And this is cutting with the six blade reel. Normally, I use the 10 blade. I'm going to speed this up just a little bit. This is on the fastest setting. But anyways, first impressions are it's it's a really nice mower. Thank you Alit for having the for giving me the opportunity to enter the the lawn striping competition and I'm excited uh, to see what everyone comes up with this year and I'm excited to uh, do a pattern on the yard with this and thanks for watching and have a great day. And please feel free to subscribe if you feel so inclined.